So today we're going to be playing NBA 2K20 for my team and we are going to be playing online, we're going to be playing offline, we're going to be completing challenges and we are going to be building a god squad within 24 hours of playtime lads. And we're going to be setting the record for one of these videos and having five Galaxy Opal cards in our team. If you guys could subscribe so we gain more than the exactly zero we gained last month, that would be greatly appreciated. So we're doing this again. We're doing this again. <laughs> yeah, we're back doing this one again right here. Uh, another week, another God Squad, I guess. So, uh, at least we get that on Zellable pack. Okay, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, so we're just starting squad. We can't even choose the Spurs, no! No PS Plus packs either? So the first thing we want to do is discard our most expensive gold players. I have no idea where Chris Milton came from, but I'll take the 2000 MT right here. Perfect, three, 400. What that allows me to do is like, look, I'm just trying to build a squad for, for um, domination, first of all. So let's just go and pick up a few guys. So to start off, I'm trying to build a really cheap TT offline team. So I buy two cheap Emerald Bigs and a Curry Sliding three-point shooting Lou. Okay, so we've bought a couple of guys, which means we can actually sell a few guys. So like 1,400 for him. Like we just, we genuinely, before we can start playing Domination, we literally just need 14k. As much as we can sell, we need 14k. We probably need a little bit more, but like I'm not playing Dom till I get Cock Order. So we end up just playing offline with this team to get a little bit of MT. I'm shooting threes with Tyron Lue, but I will come to regret not getting 150 assists because this was on Monday night. So we then look at the worthy challenges and I'm not going to go for any of them other than the Raptors one because I want to combo these up on Tuesday. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to buy three Raptors players just before I get Corver because getting Grady as my bench just means I save a little bit of MT. So let me just add in, give me like Chris Boucher. It actually doesn't matter. I'll take McDaniels. Just as long as the two players I got are Bruce Brown and Gary Trent Jr. Just to win it quickly. The other two goals. So I'm doing quite well with these Raptors players. Like Bruce Brown on semi-pro difficulty. Doesn't matter how low the three-point rating is. If you got a good release, you're going to hit everything. And to be fair, Gary Trent Jr. was also hitting a lot of shots. We got some very, very comfortable wins right here. And eventually we did go and win our fifth game with Raptors players. That should be Grady. That three right there or that two right there should get us grady and that's look that's just the card that we have in our squad it's not like he he really goes for anything it's not like it's that relevant what how do we get zero what we literally just got glitched we somehow went back to zero so i decided to say you know what screw it i'm gonna try win the games with raptors players again but after the glitch, I just got really, really annoyed. And I did go win one game, but we never finished it out for Grady. All right, I'm just, I genuinely don't really care about getting any cards. So I'm just going to get the discard value because am I back to one or is it still at zero? Is it glitched? So we're not ones. We need four more games it is anyway. I really don't even want Grady that much. I don't really want them that much, to be honest. All right, so I want Bilal Koulibaly. Where's Bilal? And the reason why I want Bilal Koulibaly basically is because he can come into the squad, play small forward, and allows me to discard Gordon Hayward, which should allow me to get Corbin. Like, once I can discard Hayward, we're good. And because the game glitched, I'm just going to get rid of these three guys right here. I don't. I really just don't want the... Um, the Raptors players at this stage I'm just I'm just kind of over these guys and then some centers so any I can get rid of some centers like I can get rid of Jericho Sims um, and I can, should be able to get rid of Trace Jackson Davis no nope, apparently not so we're gonna go and get ourselves the easiest player like Mirage Corver just makes everything easier 14,000 and we should have enough to buy two more players as well. So this isn't too bad a team to start off with. Basically, I need two more players. I can't get two more um, emeralds for now. Maybe I can. So let's go and put in Dyson Daniels, just like point guard, because he'll play defense. And then I want him, and I also want Doug Collins. Because he's a pretty easy one to uh, get some cards in as well. So I should, or get some scores as well. So I should be able to discard a him 
and that should be able to let me go to season three and get Doug Collins in the team. Is it, like, are these guys ain't special? No, they're really not. But the thing is, super cheap, like 1800, honestly, or 800. I see, I might be able to get rid of like Luke Kennard as well. And like, I'm profiting on these, and what I can get for Luke Kennard is Sean Elliott at small forward. That works perfectly. And then I probably will end up getting Ralph Sampson at different stages because I do want just a big lineup. Because we, we're going straight into um, Domination right here. So we're going to start Dyson Daniels. Backup shooting guard is going to be um, him. Backup small forward is going to be him. Backup power forward is going to be Jackson Davis, I guess. Doesn't really matter. But this lineup should very, very easily be able to beat the CPU on all-star difficulty. Like, I've got no... I shouldn't have any issues with this. And we're now going to be playing Domination for the foreseeable. <laughs> the foreseeable future, we're going to be playing Domination, lads. It's not... It's going to be a long, long grind. <laughs> like, right now, it's half ten at night for me. And I got to grind Dom. I gotta grind a hell of a lot of domination. Um, I'm probably gonna grind Dom till about 4 a.m. So lads, domination is so, so boring. I'm literally doing the same thing over and over again for 15 hours. That's all I have to do. Pass the ball to Corver. That's it. Pass the ball to Corver, and we're gonna win our games. We won by 40 there with Corver himself dropping 54 points. So. Yeah, it's going to be fairly easy, I'd say, um, run. Like, as six is not even a bad team. Like, six is are pretty good. You've got a Joel Embiid. You've got a few other players. But literally, as long as we run down the floor every single possession, I need to pass it with Corver, or when he's got takeover, I can shoot off the dribble, as I missed that one. We're going to drop 50-plus each game on him. And it's going to be very easy. So one of the players that I want to buy is I want to just get him as a center. And then, am I happy? The rest of the team, I think I am. I think I am as well, so. Um I can he play power forward? No, he can't. That was dumb. That was really dumb. I just bought a guy for no reason. Let me go and sell him then. Because I have just wasted like 500 MT. It's annoying at this stage. So we are going to we do need a power forward. So again, I'm going to search um, player position, center, color emerald, and just something that can play power forward. So, uh, who can play there and I'll get me some boards? Obviously, poor Zingus will be fine. Any nice, tall power forwards? That Bobby Portis can actually play a bit, to be fair. I don't need him, I just need a big, though. No, it seems everyone above seven foot can only play center, which is a little bit annoying. Um, so I just want to see, is there any power forwards, maybe? Power forwards that have some height. Doesn't look like it. So you know what? It's going to be pretty easy. I know who I can get. It's going to cost a little bit of MT, but it's probably going to be the a guy that will play through the whole thing at the power forward position, and he'll do well. Um, get me Kristaps. Or I can play Wemby there as well. So I'm, I might just go and do that. You know, I might just get Kristaps. And I might get Wemby and then get rid of... Um, nah, Kristaps works. One, one or the other. Um, Kristaps does a 25 speed. So probably wasn't the smartest idea going for him instead of Wemby. But nah, he does the job. He'll be fine. And I am going to try to uh, discard quite a few. So apparently I can't discard Veshenkov. He's not in my team. Can I discard him? So I was looking through all of this and... I didn't really care what order I was doing them in, but I did want to get like some Dean Wade and Denny for gameplay, so I decided just play two games for Atlantic and then get Josh Hart near the end. Facing Milwaukee right here. Corver has 77 points and we've won by, oh, as I pause it, we're gonna win by around 60. Corver might go for 80. And with that, we beat our first one in Central Division. I've actually kind of skipped out on the rest of this because basically I want to do a Dean Wade gameplay on my main account. And then I want to get a Denny Avdia gameplay out tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so far we're doing all right, I guess. 
we're uh we've, we're three games in so we're 10 we're, we're almost 10 percent of the way there and i'm gonna play a, this game right here and you'll probably see me come back into this video once we get dean wade i guess i actually planned on doing a lot more before the end of this night but i stopped because after finishing a game i accidentally hit rematch instead of quit and then it decided to not count the game or any of my stats. So I was just so annoyed that I shut off my console and went to bed. So I thought I was being smart getting all my footage from Tuesday uh, by using the PS share feature rather than having to be in my office. Yeah, didn't work. None of it saved. So this was the day the Rush 3 challenges came out. And obviously this one is absolutely hell right here. Score 50 points with a player 15 times. But I was doing domination, so I didn't really mind it. This challenge right here to win... 15 multiplayer games with three or more rush players wasn't too bad, but I'll come back to that later. 40 steals on steals are multiple games. Was gonna do it during domination. 50 layups, not that bad at all. Get 50 rebounds of heat players over domination games, was doing it anyway. I'm gonna triple double with a sixes player. Might have been the single easiest of all these. You could very easily do that in one game. But you see this one right here. Win 15 with three or more rush players. There's another one in this section right here where it is win 15 with three or more Lakers players. If I had just before it expired on the Monday, my first day of domination, got 150 assists with Lakers players, which I could have very easily done offline. I think I got to like 50 running Ty Lu. I could have gotten this guy right here. Where is he? Gail Goodrich. And if I'd gotten Gail Goodrich, I would have been able to combine both of them. But instead of needing 30 wins, we would have only needed 15 because we could have used Goodrich to combo up. Otherwise, like, there was no chance. I could have still done it in, like, unlimited or salary cap, but I wasn't wasting my time playing those modes when I could have done it in clutch time or in TT offline. So I lost the footage, but over these hours, we completed quite a few of the rush agendas. Basically, anything we could have done in domination, we had completed, whether that be rush or iconic, and we're at around 8 hours, 15 minutes, I'd say. I needed to get 40 rebounds. I needed to obviously do the Miami thing. Um, I've explained, I'll explain probably separately what I need to do. Basically, I got the gold Mobamba for the triple double with the Sixers players. I got a couple of Miami players like Jaime Hackwes Jr. and um, Udonis Haslam to do that. And obviously, we eventually we did get Michael Carter Williams um, via the triple double, and I did that to get uh, some of the achievements. Um, I'm not sure exactly when the last time I recorded, but this is the team that I have been running with for the last couple of games. So right now, I'm actually doing okay as far as domination goes. I want to complete the ones that I wanted to... I'm glad I actually wanted to show you guys the cards that I get. So I've actually just completed a whole, almost all of these. So I'm going to go and complete the Eastern Conference one right now. Just finish the last three games for these three. Show you guys gameplays with these three cards and with Tyrese Maxi, And then hopefully um, by the end of the day, be able to get like Colin Sexton and Yusuf Nurkic. Because then we've only got like, what, eight games left to do tomorrow, which is not too bad because we do have quite a lot of things to do. So we got Amethyst Ronnie Cycli, Diamond Tony Allen. So we got some nice players anyway. I think we should have... Yeah, we got Marco Full, so that's the best player we're going to get. Like, that's our starting point guard. I wish I could make this part of the video more interesting. I really do, because this is going to take forever. Um, I haven't live streamed any of it, but it is really going to take forever. Still, though. It's not too hard, obviously, once our camera is set, to keep doing this. Like, it is legitimately this for, uh... I should have probably put Fultz in on my start point guard. Either way, I can go one game without it. I'll see you in quite a while, lads. And here we are at the end of this game. We have put up 101 points and scored 72 with Kyle Corver. And I'm not joking, I legitimately missed, like... What I missed, like, four of my first five shots? And with that, we get our first player, and it is Diamond Josh Hart. Which is alright. Or, say not Diamond Josh Hart, Pink Diamond Josh Hart. So, I'm going to actually go make, change up my team a little bit. You can come in. Um, Josh Hart come in. Tony Allen come in, just for defense. Is there anyone else, Reed, I can put in that I want? Uh, Ronnie Cycli is better than Adonis Haslam, I guess. Um, so, yeah, this is what we got so far. And because I was doing them back to back to back, we got Josh Hart first, and uh, he was very, very meh. Eh, doesn't seem bad. But only an hour after that, we managed to win two more games, which not only got us Denny Avdia, it got us our first Opal. And that is us done. Finito. Make sure it says final. Yeah. 
I accidentally had to rematch a game because if you click rematch, even if the game's over, you actually have to play the whole thing again. It re it like it comes out as a zero game. So with that, we have got our third pink diamond. Um, we got Danny Avdia, and we already have got Dwayne Wade or Dean Wade, which means we've got our Opal Tyrese Maxi. Lads, we have got our Opal Tyrese Maxi, so that's a lot of hours. But let's go in to what is it? Rewards right here so we got our first opal anyway and we get tyree's maxi right here so we've managed to get him as far as opals go with dean wade and denny avdia as well so our team is looking real nice so far here doesn't really matter who we use honestly um jaime Haquez, you're coming out for she danny's gonna be on the one and jaime Haquez come out for dean wade i probably won't honestly use tyree's maxi the only galaxy opal but you know what like the goal is is to break the record for most opals in one of these videos which is five and we're on decent enough track i guess we got 100 kmt as well so over the next 40 or so minutes we just did a bunch of things that were videos on the second channel but we were able to get a few clutch time offline wins in here because so we we're using three lakers players basically to try complete those challenges we used tyrese maxi in the first game we got a dub we used alan iverson in the second game we got a dub again. Surprisingly, Denny might have been the best of all these players. And even though he balled out, we unfortunately missed a game winner. But thankfully, we used Dean Wade. And even though he was horrendous for the entire game, he hit a three to put it into overtime and had a chance to win it in OT. Dean Wade for game. What a horrific performance. But Dean Wade for game. So a couple of nice wins right there. A loss that really shouldn't have been a loss. But at the same time, probably some wins that may probably shouldn't have been wins. But we do have the base pass right here. So we get quite a lot. So we get an Ascension pick. We get an Amethyst. Like, we're up at level 9. So we do get a few um, a few of our Ascension picks. And we also get an hour and a half worth of double XP coins. Which I actually don't mind that much. That's actually pretty good. So where are we going to go? Let's just claim all the rewards up till Season 9. And see what we get. So how many Ascension? We should have five Ascension picks. Like, if I can get up to the top Ascension board and get myself a Larry Johnson, we're in great L shape. 25 my team points. That, this can't be real, right? Like, 25 my team points genuinely can't. Like, we never even saw that back in the day. Oh my god, this Ascension board is an absolute piss take. Oh my god. Even there was an auction house and MT meant less. Or meant the more than it did now, we got better stuff than that. Jeez, that's not great, but at least we can put on our our XP coin anyway and hopefully get a few games in for that. And get to maybe level 11, level 12. But let's go right back to Domination. What type of team do we have? That Hulu. So I spent the rest of this day grinding off camera because, well, it's a lot more comfortable to do it from my bedroom than my office. So lads, I have been playing so much of this game. I accidentally finished the ones for Nurkic. We got Nurkic. We have 176,000 MT. Lads, we got two tokens. Um, I got three games to go. Three games for LeBron James, lads. We are at 90 stars. And then after LeBron... We gotta get a bunch of gameplays out, but we also have to win. Oh my, we have to win so many games. So many multiplayer games. Like, I'm not even close. I need to win all those multiplayer games. I need to hit 100 threes with Jazz players. And I have to do this by tonight. <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. right now. I still have about another eight hours of crap left to do. Oh, lads. It's, it's uh. It's going to be rough. This video is probably even going to be as long as the other ones, but this has been the longest starting from scratch video I've ever made. But yeah, like this is the team I've been running with, I guess, because Danny Avdi has after going and injured himself. Injured for seven more games. But yeah, this is the team that I have been, uh, been running with. It's not a bad little team, but uh, let's go and get our levels. See what levels we are at anyway. So I have not claimed, I have a double XP for 60 minutes and four ascension picks. So like, look, at least I'll, without question, get myself, I got myself the five tokens. I would have liked to have gone to like here, gotten to 20, 
probably not going to get the 20. Um, 25 would have been nice for Crystal Pete, but it is highly, highly unlikely. But yeah, so we should have an Ascension. Four picks from this. Like 20. It's mad how low the MT total is from all this. And we had 25 MT last time. Oh my god. 400 MT. Wow. Well, that's great. Come on. We got one chance at Larry Johnson. I'll take it. I'll take it. Like, obviously, this completely rigged at times, but I will take Larry Johnson. Come on. That is a great player. And we got one more pick. I don't even care what I get with it. We got Larry Johnson. Let's go. Let's go. Let's add him into the old team right here. Let's take Tony Allen out of there. Let's put in a Larry, the Larry Johnson fella. Our team is looking, is it's a damn good team right here. And we're now in the last game for LeBron, and I'm not going to lie, I have been through hell, lads. I have been through hell just trying to do this one game. I'm not going to lie, um, I'm on my second time of facing this game right here. Um, you can see it's back to 18 right now, I need to win by 10. And you'll see I was up by, what was it, 30? No, 27. Um, the last time I played this game, I was up 22 and lost. Like, as you can see, I'm shooting 2 of 6. In the first half, I shot 19 of 24. Shot 19 of 24 in the first half, 2 to 6 in the second. The game's literally rigged. And this is my last game, by the way. This game is completely rigged. I gotta be honest, I was just taking twos on every possession, and eventually the CPU missed. Oh my god, they missed. Thank god. That's all I can say is thank god I don't play this game for a third time. But I was getting so scared. Like, I had a 20-point lead in the first quarter, and I'm like, yeah, easy. And then suddenly it got back to eight, out of near 30 and got back to 18. I was getting flashbacks. I was getting flashbacks at the last game. Good job, Nurkic. And we got Galaxy Opal LeBron. Thank God. Let's see what we can get in this pack. A pink diamond would be nice. Um, No, we got an Amethyst. Who's an Amethyst in the game? Shooting guard. Kyrie. It's not great. Okay, this doesn't look to be unauctionable. That's a big thing. Couple of amethysts, a couple of uh, diamonds, pink diamonds. We can at least sell them for something. I don't really care what we get here as long as we can sell them. That's a diamond. That sells for 4,000 MT. I'll take it. Like, we're actually doing all right MT wise. I like, I'm not buying anyone that's coming out tomorrow. Cool, I can discard that Donovan Mitchell. Like, the. Well, tomorrow or today when you guys see this, the set is horrific. So there's no way I'm buying anyone that. So I'm just going to buy Franz as well. I'm going to buy the Beasley and then buy Franz. I was hoping that in this Series 2 pack we were going to get something. But yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, we got our diamond early. I was hoping maybe a pink diamond that I could discard. Because, well, it was sellable, but we got nothing. Alright, we should be able to at least get something from this... Uh, I'm just going to discard basically everything that's not... Every card is not going to make my actual squad. I'm going to discard right now. Because, like, I don't need so many of these cards. Like, you can see I got Jabari Smith Jr. I've managed to get myself Larry Johnson. There's so many guys I just don't need. And hopefully I have, like, enough that I can buy Franz and Michael Beasley. So I decided to go in to clutch time again. Obviously, these were gameplays for the main channel. The Shangoon one, he was so bad. We almost lost it. He couldn't score. He did it a game winner. I never even uploaded it. It was that bad. And we got LeBron James. And LeBron with his Lakers team won comfortably. So we then went on to play a bit of clutch time. Basically, we put in our team um, point guard Colin Sexton, which was really not easy. Because like Colin Sexton was not very good. And I was trying to hit Jazz three-pointers, hence why I had him in there. But Sexton wasn't great. And it was hard to beat even terrible teams running through Colin Sexton. And you can see here, we're facing a much, much better team than us trying to run through a bad player. Not looking forward to this team right here, because this is actually like an absolutely hell team. Oh, yeah, we walked back into the three right there. I'm not going to lie. Playing these games, I was doing way better than I thought I would, but I was honestly just tanking my record. Like, I was trying just to score with Colin Sex as much as anything, and I was, it was very tough. Not gonna lie, like, he's not even that bad, 
but it's just trying to run through Colin's exit when guys are running opals is not is a recipe for disaster to be honest oh yeah no no what that's a pump fake why is it that everyone has like a bomb release on slow like it's still awful when it's on normal or, or quick like and honestly, my opponent wasn't up that much. He hits this white three, he hit another white three, and he ended the game with an offensive board. And guess what? He's got Donna Morrison. And he hits another white. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Green. Of course, we can't make our white open. Like, I'm actually turning the meter on. It's getting, it's getting ridiculous now. It's actually getting ridiculous. I'm turning my meter on. I genuinely just don't care. I don't care. I'm going to try ignore it as much as possible. But, um, yeah, like, whites don't miss with the meter on. And the guy I played there was a scrub, but he had the meter on, so he made three threes. Bang, bang, bang. White, white, white. Doesn't matter. Yeah, meter, I don't think really puts me off that much, so it should be okay. And it was only a matter of time after experimenting with the meter that we hit our very first white. I made my first white! That is the first white that I've made in months, lads, just because I turned the meter on. I can miss time a shot and still go and smack the white, like. All in all, we were actually playing all right. Like, we were winning games and we were losing games. And we were actually still shooting the ball at a decent enough rate. We did experiment a little bit more with the meter, if I'm being honest. How are we doing as far as, like, the old seasonal agendas? For iconic, this is this will be easy. I don't need to really rush to either of these, any of these, but still. Um, I need 15 rush multiplayer wins. That, like, that'll take time. Look, I can do this in like 20 minutes. I can do this in eight, eight more of these. Like, it's half nine. I get this by like 11. This one, this one is just the one to tell. And we had a couple of easy matchups in a row, but we still weren't shooting the best with Colin Sexton. Meter on, meter off, he's still not a great shooter no matter what, but we were scoring a lot of threes against bad opponents. Okay, now we might be playing someone that's at least a bit decent. His team is all right, I guess. And this was honestly a game that I would have walked had I not been running through Sexton, like neck and neck the whole way, and unfortunately a weird foul to bails them out. Got me, damn. He actually doubled well on the ball there. Probably should have went back to Hachi more. It's a terrible loss. That guy wasn't good. We're facing another pretty strong team right here. Like, again, you're seeing three or four gambling opals, or three gambling opals, Harden and um, the Kobe. But as you can see here, there's sometimes when I lose, I just get on the mic and hope that they leave me open for three. And, like, the fact is, is, like, my opponent here ran me close. I know I gave him that shot, but that was close the whole way through, regardless of the fact that his team sucked. And that's the thing where it's, like, it's really, really difficult to play running through Colin Sexton. As you can see here, seven and four. We started off six and one. And even though we were getting a couple of wins, it ended up being 11 and eight. And we kind of kept in and around that win rate the whole time. Like we're playing games right here. We're playing a lot of kind of shoot off games. A lot of games where I know I'm gonna lose. I'm trying to just let make my opponent turn into a shoot off and just shoot threes. And then even playing against good players like this or good squads, when I decide to just share the ball and shoot with other players, I can beat anybody. There we go. We got Michael Cooper. Thank God. Thank God. If we go and get Caruso, I'm going to go mad in this. I do not. He's like the one player I don't want. And B to be nice. Caleb Houston. He's actually not terrible. I'm going to go and buy a, uh, what's his name? Taylor Hendricks. Just on the, like, do I think he's ain't brilliant? No, it just allows me to go in clutch time online again and run with, an, run with a jazz player. So I can run these guys. Uh, let me go and put in Fultz. Michael Carter Williams. You know what, Iverson. I'll put in Iverson. I can play flat out offense. Um... And then Michael Cooper going to three. So then we can put in like Taylor Hendricks and Shengu and like a decent enough team. We got him 15 with these though. So we're trying to win a few games with rush players in this game mode. And basically, obviously having a Taylor Hendricks makes things a lot easier. As you can see, seven threes in his first game. And in the second game here, we're facing as a jazz player. So I decide to bargain with him. Want to do a shoot off? 
We both left each other open every single possession, and whoever hit more threes ended up winning. And thankfully, I didn't miss for the entire game with Taylor Hendricks, which actually put us a large chunk of the way towards getting the 100 threes. Shooting a lot more threes and a lot higher percentage with Taylor Hendricks than with uh, Colin Sexton. Oh, I just missed wide open to tie it. Damn, that's my fault. That's my fault. Oh, Should have won that game. And then after a game against one of the worst opponents I had ever played, we ended up hitting enough threes to finish it off. We hit our threes and we got Matt Harper. I then decided to play TT online because the games are going to be quicker and three players were shooting guard eligibility, so every time wouldn't have made a layup account towards our Tyreek Evans challenge. Ah, this team is undersized, but it'll do. Michael Cooper can probably get away with playing center, just about, but, not, but he can probably get away with it. So these games are going to be tough because sometimes teams were good, sometimes teams were bad, but also was trying to get layups made things exponentially harder. Alright, come on, please let me lay it up, please let me lay it up game, come on. I've actually not been blocked so far in this game with uh, my three layups. I would expect that ball to be set into the stand every time. But to be honest, sometimes I was taking dunks, I was forgetting about it, and we had a whole bunch of games, so sometimes I was just going for wins. And yeah, there were a lot of games here where I was winning relatively comfortably, but it was only when I started shooting. As you can see, like, going for layups just didn't always work. Like, I was missing a lot of shots, and we were... Lucky that we were playing opponents I was a lot better than, and I was able to get stops on the other end. But in general, like, every single one of these was a game that I would have won even more comfortably had I just been playing normally. What? What? I literally had a wide open three, and he couldn't make a... What? I better not go in. My guys better be able to pass the rest of this video. And thankfully that bad pass made me lock in a little bit more and we got an easy dub with a bunch of laps. Hey, eight more laps. Eight more laps to go, 60 more points in the paint. We're doing okay, we're fine. And I was playing well, so even facing insane squads like this, I was still able to win and win comfortably, but it did involve me shooting a lot more. I'll take that quick and easy W right there. I mean, I love Varishow, but it's not like he's gonna make the team or he's gonna be great. I do love this card though. Okay, Showtime pack. We might get some decent at that, I guess. We got Mo Cheeks. But uh, how many games are we off? We need five more games. What's it? Five more games, and we need eight layups, and what's it? 60 points in the paint for this? I'll take Showtime pack. Something good would be, would be very, very nice. A pink diamond would be nice. Is that a pink diamond? That's a pink diamond, lads. Oh my, oh no, it's it's not, is it? No, it's Diamond John Wall. He at least sells for something, doesn't he? What price is he, like 50k? What price is Wall? Like John Wall, as far as price goes, he's 50k, which means he'll sell for something. Like I don't want the card, but he'll definitely sell. Yeah, so I'm gonna sell basically everything that I can right now that I don't need. I'll sell everything that's auctionable. So 20k for him, I'll take that. Uh, I don't need him anymore. As good, great as he's been, I don't need him. I just don't want to sell Corver just for the... Just because of how much he's done for us. So we're at 270k. I don't know what we're going to end up on, but... You never... You just never know. All right, he's trying to win with three Lakers players. Not the greatest team, but he could be decent. Like, Ron Artest is pretty okay, and... Um, Brandon Ingram absolutely sucks, but Shaq can be good at times, I guess. I gotta give credit where credit's due right here. My opponent outplayed me. Sure, was I missing a lot of layups? Yeah, I pulled myself back into the game by shooting. But in the end, in his defense, he outplayed me. Not a great three right here. Hopefully we can get some layups. Yeah, lads, we were going for layups, and we went down big in this game. But, like, we went down 9-3, and... Then we immediately went in the 12-0 run and they bring it back. It's going to be like, oh yeah, we can start going for layups again. Nope. I love Matt Harper. There we go. Six more layups and a win. Oh, lads, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay and we need three more games. So it's two layups a game. Okay, I think that's Diamond. 20, 22, 23. There's none of these that are that good or Vincenzo. 
Um, Bog Boyan Bogdanovich is not good at all, but at least it's a free diamond. Unfortunately, unoptionable. We were getting some comfortable wins right here. We finished the laps, and I thought I had gotten up for Granger. Step back. Easy mid-range. I'll take that. 22-11 win, and that might get us Danny Granger, I guess. We got Tyreek Evans right there. Oh. Uh, one more game. There we go. That is the dub. And yeah, that is going to be Pink Diamond Chandler Parsons and Galaxy Opal Danny Granger. For 100, you're not getting someone better than this for 100k. I'm just putting it out there. You're not getting a car better than Beasley for 100k. That is a, without question, like the most no-brainer thing is to spend 100k. When I got 276k, I'm going to buy Worthy. Oh, it's not worthy. I'm gonna buy Beasley. I'm gonna get worthy, um, and then like Beasley's very, very good. And then I'm gonna go and buy a shooting guard because I don't really have a backup shooting guard. I'm gonna go and buy uh, the iconic Franz because iconic Franz is just elite. And I have the MT for one more player probably. We have completely, completely uh, screwed ourselves right here because I've given myself 40 minutes. <laughs> I've given myself 40 minutes exactly to finish these iconic challenges. I messed up the hours. There's daylight saving hours, and I thought I had an hour and 40 minutes. Turns out I have 40 minutes. Iconic. Complete the spotlights, win one game of Bulls players, and score 100 points. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, as long as the spotlights aren't too bad. If the spotlights is a certain amount of minute quarters, I'm done. Take three dunks and one steal. Total three dunks and one sales team. Cool. Easy. Winning this game up to 15 was super easy. Genuinely just walk past the halfway line and shoot with whoever, and it's going to go in on semi-pro. Perfect. Win number one. We're actually probably not going to get this completed. But again, that is my fault for not realizing. We're just not getting in my head the daylight savings time happened. 21-point game was significantly easier using Kyle Corver. Three dunks, one steal as a team. Yeah, that's one dunk. Come on, steel would be nice here. I'm not gonna lie, if you're looking for team steals against the CPU, in my opinion, the 2-3 zone is the way to go. There we go, we gotta steal first possession. I'm telling you guys, the 3-2 or the 2-3 zone, if you're looking for quick steals against the CPU, is probably the easiest to get. Oh, it's a layup and one, really? There we go, that's a poster there from LeBron, I'll take that. And that's the third dunk, let's go. We're at it there, we got 30 minutes to go now to just win a game of Bulls players. So we ended up buying almost all the current series to Bulls players. They're going to be the cheapest. And we actually just wanted one player that we could score every time with. And we chose Alex Caruso. I honestly could have just got away with his Emeralds. But to start of the game, we just shot a lot of twos and a lot of threes with Caruso. There we go. This one quick enough. Like four or five minutes. Even with the restart, five minutes. Oh my God, Caruso. Make the shot, you scrub. This is semi-pro difficulty. Thank you, game. So now we're going to go to agendas. Get... I don't care about Desmond Bain. Award pack. I don't care about Robert Ory. And we just need three games of scoring everything in the paint, I guess. Triple threat. Um, just to make sure I'm doing it right. Pink diamond or higher players. Pink diamond or higher players in per perfect. Perfect. So our first game was very kind of easy. We got our 22 points in the paint pretty quickly. The second game, though, no matter what we did, we got blocked. This is three minutes into the game, and f I think five of our first six possessions have resulted in me getting blocked or missing open lights. Make the f***ing shot, you bums! Oh my god, you've been blocked five, five and six possessions. I've been blocked. But this game took eight minutes, and we only had eight minutes to go to get the pack. Okay, we've got eight minutes to win this last game. There's no reason I shouldn't win a game in eight minutes. It's TTO, like, I've been taking two and a half minutes with Corver. Corver's coming in. Once I get my ten points in the paint, I'm just chucking threes with Corver. I got eight minutes to, to do this. I should be okay. We got Donovan Mitchell. What a matchup. We can just run by him every time. I'm going to leave him, him open, the CPU open every single time. They hit, they hit, they miss, they miss. I don't care. I need 10 points in the paint and this game to end. I don't need to win it. Pass the ball, Shengu. And one. Good finish. And yeah, we ended up very, very comfortably getting it. As soon as we got the points in the paint, we just started shooting a quarter. I'll take it. I'll take that W. I'll take that W right here, and that is a free pink diamond. We got him with five minutes to go. 35 minutes. We're good. We've got him. We got him with five minutes to go, it looks like. Iconic Deluxe on Celebus. We got three iconic packs. Like, if we get Danny Green, there's 
Who do I want in the iconic pack? Like, there's these weren't that bad, were they? Like, this week's is horrific. You know what? He probably makes the team. Or he nah, he probably doesn't. He might make the team. He probably makes the team. He obviously is in the team, and I guess 70k for him. He's a scrub, he's a scrub, and he might make the team. I don't want like I legitimately other than if I get if I see point guard flash up or power forward, I'm gonna lose it. So like there's a two and six that I'll get angry if I get. I'm just gonna open the normal packs first. Kyrie Irving, maybe? Amethyst, give me my discard, Kyrie. No, it's um Dame. Damn, he's not even a dupe, so, so I can't use do anything with him. Iconic unsellable. Come on, this is where we get the look and we see either like a that it's opal, isn't it? <laughs> Did I just get an opal? Did I just pick up a, a galaxy opal from this pack? Please tell me I got a galaxy opal. It's either an opal or a diamond. Oh, it's a pink diamond, and it's it's that scrub. It's that scrub. I'm so badly colorblind. Oh my god, that is a scrub. That is not even a scrub. That is the scrubbiest of scrubs. I'm going to see point guard again in this, aren't I? That's pink diamond again, I think, isn't it? It's pink diamond again. Mikhail Bridges. Oh, I, I don't know if Mikhail Bridges makes the team, though. I don't know if Mikhail Bridges makes it. I'm going to have to try him out, but I really don't know if he makes the team. So Mikhail Bridges. Normal dribble stars, normal dribble stars. Not terrible. Not the biggest. I don't hate the release. That's just a bang average shooting guard. Like, not a bad card, but a bang average card. So we picked up a few cards for challenges after discarding a couple of players we were never going to use again. And I picked up Matherin, even though I had Granger. And we also picked up our Raptors players again that we sold earlier in the video. I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I just bought him when I have Danny Granger. And then we end up finishing it off by buying our Denver Nuggets players. AD's real cheap. There's points in the paint, which means it's just going to be big man that we need, to be honest. So he's a very easy one. He'll dunk everything or score everything on the inside on low difficulties. And the way, yeah, I'm just going to go back to early. So we're going to go him for a thousand. Anyone under a thousand to play small forward? Michael Porter Jr., I guess. Yeah, that works. So we were shooting with Danny Granger, missing a lot more than I expected. It was still taking about 8 to 10 minutes per, like, 47 points. And if you guys notice there, like, Shangun just got sniped in this game. Did he break his shoulder? He just dropped to the ground. No one was near him. He literally just dropped to the ground. I'm not gonna lie. This has taken me 58 minutes. Like, 58 minutes to score whatever it is, 5 to 2 point or... 47 points five times Danny Granger. It actually has taken me longer to do it with Granger as far as minutes and seconds than it took me to do it with Benedict Matherin last week. I got it done in like 58 minutes. I think I've done it like 50. So it's eight minutes longer with the much better card. That is actually mental. And with that, we get Oladipo. Should be able to win on pro. Maybe not, you know. Semi-pro is a lot easier. And I'm not gonna lie, I expected the Raptor challenge to be harder on Pro, but I was still hitting everything. There we go, that's the game's done with him. And the last thing we had to do was get points in the paint with Denver players, and I literally just sent him on back cuts, and either Michael Porter Jr., Dikembe, or Aaron Gordon were dunking every single time off a back cut. And there we go, that is us done. It has taken... The last two things have taken 46 minutes or something. So, I don't know, we're probably... We're not at 24 hours. We're very close to it. I don't have enough time to get the pink diamond. But yeah, we're doing... We're doing all right. We've done all right, I guess. Wouldn't mind a... None of these cards make my team. Best I wouldn't mind a Vince. Wouldn't mind a coach, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, we have got right here. Agendas. Completed agendas. We've got LaFonso Ellis. And we got Opal James Worthy, lads. So, what that means is that we have the final team. We've got our final team right here. And that final team is... Let's put in... So, Dean Wade's obviously gone. Where are these in? So, I probably run like this? LeBron off the bench, maybe? I actually wouldn't run this. Like, if you've just got all of our Opals in the best squad, but like, this is the best squad I would, I would run. I would run LeBron, power forward off the bench, Granger off the bench, because I don't think Granger's great. Start Denny, 
have Franz and Beasley creating everything. Worthy there for defense and Shengun. And then I like Nurkic off the bench. Yeah, we do need an extra shooting guard, but uh, my goat Dean Wade deserves a spot considering it's last three on the bench. My goat Dean Wade deserves a spot. I'm just not out of principle for all that he's done for this video. I am refusing to sell. I'm abstaining from selling Kyle Korver. Everybody else can be sold. That man... He'll still say he averaged zero points, wouldn't it? Yeah, that man averaged 70 points a game. 75 points a game through domination. And pick up this dude for 36k. 36k MT right there. We're now at 24k, which means... I gotta just... Can't spend on anything else. Nobody I can get for 20k that's gonna even make the bench. So, let's do what I always tell people not to do. As you can see, we got Patrick Baldwin Jr. That man's not gonna do anything for us. And move Shengu into power forward, but I want Worthy and Beasley starting because all of our best players mostly are small forwards, power forwards. So yeah, it'll be this team right here. I gotta like Nurkic as well, by the way, and I actually think Nurkic, if I do want to go bigger, I can put Nurkic in. But uh, either way, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is not even my account. But anyway, that is it, lads. This is the 24-hour squad. Probably even a shorter video just because of how much domination has taken. But yes, this is what we managed to put together in 24 hours.